Well, we've all had this. Uh, we've had a pan full of black sands and we just didn't want to back pan it out. We know there's fine gold in there, maybe even some flakes, but man, what a pain in the butt it is to get all that stuff out. Here's some devices you can have, like this little magnet thing where you just go over the top of it and you, you pull back on the lever and it all comes out. But I find the magnet's not very powerful, but I was going to try this out. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take an old hard drive here, I'm going to take it apart and get access to the earth magnets. They're quite powerful, I found, so I'm going to show you how I do that and uh, we'll see if we can separate some of this black sands from the gold and, and uh, make it easier for us in the end. So the first thing I did was just uh, classify my material down and uh, kind of got all the water out and then I'm just going to let this dry out. You could use a frying pan, but I'm just going to let it sit overnight. It should dry out pretty good. It might take a, a few hours, but that's okay. i got nothing else better to do, so we'll just let this dry out and then we'll put the magnet on it. Okay, so the magnet lives right here, so we're just going to kind of force it out here with the pliers. It's quite a powerful magnet, so just be aware of that and be careful. So there it is. That puppy right there, there's another magnet right there. So you can take that one out too and use it, so you have two magnets. Okay, so these are the two magnets you get left with. Uh, I, I tend to use the one on the left more because it's more exposed. You can pry these magnets off carefully because I, it's only an adhesive that's uh, keeping them on. Uh, but you gotta be very careful. These magnets are so powerful, they, they will pinch your fingers if uh, you get them in between two metal parts. Uh, these magnets are also not your conventional fridge magnet. They uh, they're very brittle. So uh, if you were to take one off and just chuck it at a, a file cabinet, I've seen them actually fracture. And then uh, you have a bunch of little tiny super magnets that are sharp and and uh, very hard to deal with at that point. So be a little careful. So you can see right here. Watch. Very tough. So yeah, uh, that's. That's rough. Anyways, let's uh, see how it works on the black sands and uh, use them for separation and processing of fine gold. So I have my classified material here. I've uh, let it dry out and you can see it's just uh, kind of a nice fine material. You can see the black sands in there. You can see regular sands in there. and. There is, uh, there is some flaky gold in here actually, it's not that fine, the, the spot I was in was pretty nice, so I was gonna, there's a nice little piece of gold right there. Tell you, when you can see the gold in this stuff, you know you're on a good spot, so. Anyways, let's show you what's going on here. So I'm gonna take this magnet, and I'm gonna put it into a, a bag. And then I'm going to take that bag and put it into a larger bag because you really, you don't want this black sand to get on the magnet itself because you're never going to get it off. It's just not going to happen. So seal it all up here. And I'll show you, this is kind of funny. If you put, put the magnet right underneath the pan, this is pretty thick uh, plastic material. You can see you can see the, the magnetic field that it creates. And boy, I mean, it's powerful enough that you can actually see it flinging the material around a bit. So that's, uh, boy, that's powerful. Anyways, let's shake that back up. What I want to do here is just kind of lightly go over. 
See if you can see that. I can hear it. <laughs> you can see it just pick right up. And gold not being magnetic will stay right in the pan. So check that out. Look at that. That's cool. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put it into my other pan here. And then what I can do here is just pull the magnet out and away. Oh, that's tough to separate even like this. There we go. You can see now in this pan, it's nothing but pure black. Uh, you gotta be a little bit careful because there's nothing to say that gold can get brought up in the mix and get trapped under the uh, the force of the, the black sands, the magnetite locking onto the magnet. So I'm not gonna dispose of this just yet. So we're gonna kind of do it a couple of times. So we'll go back over here and we'll do repeat the process until all the black sand is done. Get it all out. One thing every prospector should have is a, a good pair of non-magnetic tweezers. I mean, sometimes you can just go right in and pick the gold out itself. So I've collected some flakes right here out of the pan from just stuff I saw and I have a magnet here. I'll put it right underneath and you see that the gold does not move. Okay, so now that we've got pretty much as much black sand magnetite out as we can, let's uh, pan this out and see what kind of gold we get. So there you have it, there's some gold extracted using a magnet to remove the black sands, magnetite, not too bad. So I found this piece, it's a rock, it's kind of uh, stayed in the pan with the gold, it uh, eventually moved where the gold stayed but it, it kept on staying in the same spot so I, I suspect it's a piece of lead so what I know about lead is it's got a low melting point and it's malleable so what I can do is I got the pliers here I'm just gonna put it into the pliers and squish it as hard as I can and then look at it and if it hasn't broken apart it must be lead And sure enough, this didn't break apart. It's not brittle. Let's put it in my hand here so I don't drop it. So I don't know if you can see that or not. 
you can see the plier marks has made an impression on it so that's in my opinion a piece of lead so if I uh, get enough of these pieces I might kind of melt them down real quick and make a kind of a little little bullet out of them or, or whatever a little button and uh, I'll put them in a little uh, flask or a vial and call it uh, PB so that's kind of cool okay let's see if this is a piece of lead nope you heard that that's it cracking apart pulverizing it's brittle so not the same rock so you can see how that got destroyed so that is not the same as what I had in the other sample so this is in my opinion not lead so that's just to be discarded unknown so in this sample I have lots of uh, pyrite and I have what uh, it's a radish material and I'm not sure what it is. I suspect it might be zinc, but I don't know the properties of zinc, so I'm going to have to do some research. So if any of you guys want to give me a good way, easy way to test for zinc, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments. In this tray, I have a little piece of pyrite, and you can see the pyrite does not move either. So it's good to know the properties of the metals that you're trying to get. Pyrite's very cubical in this area. Thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe and comment. See you out there.